Hello guys, this is our chapter 1, Properties of Fluid, with its subtopic, Density. Problem 2. The density of seawater at a free surface where the pressure is 98 kPa is approximately 1030 kg over meter cube, taking the bulk modulus of elasticity of seawater to be 2.34 times 10 raised to 9 newton over meter squared and expressing variation of pressure with depth C as dp is equals to rho g dz. Determine the density at a depth of 2,500 meters. Disregard the effect of temperature. But before we answer our problem, let's have a short recap about our topic. Density is the measurement of how tightly a material is packed together. It is defined as the mass per unit volume. The formula for density is rho is equals to mass over volume, where rho is the density, m is the mass of the object, and v is the volume of the object. And finally, to solve for our problem 2, given that atmospheric pressure is equals to 98 kilopascal, density is equals to 1030 kilogram over meter cube, bulk modulus of elasticity is equals to 2.34 times 10 raised to 9 newton over meter squared and the depth z is equals to 2500 meter. In solving this problem, we will use the equation for bulk modulus of elasticity. Bulk modulus of elasticity is equals to change of pressure over change of density over density. But first, let's solve for pressure. Pressure is equals to atmospheric pressure plus density times acceleration due to gravity times depth Z. Pressure is equals to 98,000 plus 1,030 times 9.81 times 2,500. Pressure is equals to 25,358,750 Pascal. Then, rewrite the equation of bulk modulus of elasticity to get the change in density. Change in density is equals to density times change of pressure over bulk modulus. Change in density is equals to 1030 times 25,358,750 over 2.34 times 10 raised to 9. Change in density is equals to 11.6 kg over meter cube. Then the density at the depth 2500 meter is equals to 1030 plus 11.6. The density at the depth 2500 meter is equals to 1041.16 kg over meter cube. And that is all for our chapter 1 for properties of fluid problem 2. Thank you for watching.